If you want to be able to import information off the web and be able to actually refresh that or update it if there's any updates on the web, you can do that. And there's two ways. Excel has some default connections like for stocks or currency rates. To see those, you can come up here and click on the Data tab, go to the Get External Data Group, and then click on Existing Connections. And you can see the defaults here, MS Money Central for currency rates and stock quotes. If you want to do currency rates, go ahead and double click on that. I'll say where do you want to dump this data I'm getting from the internet or MSN Central. D3 is fine. Click OK. Give it a second or two while it pulls it in. Then once it pulls it in, all you have to do is save your workbook. And then later on, if you want to be able to get the latest information or do an update on this, you can come up here to the Data tab to the Connections group and click on the Refresh button. And then give it a second or two because it's going to rewrite the whole worksheet here and refresh it and pull the latest information from off the internet. Now this will only work on one per sheet. So if I want to do additional data and pull it into the sheets, you can see on this worksheet I can't use existing connections or do it from the web anymore. But if I go to another worksheet, then I can go ahead and let's do it from the web. Click on From the Web. And I'm going to come up here and change this and go to www.msn.com. Come over here, click on the Go button. It's going to give me some script errors. I want to say no. I'm going to come in here, and you see this little yellow tag here. Anytime you see these, you can actually click on them, and those are the tables that are going to be imported into your workbook here. I don't want to check that, so I'll uncheck it. And I'll scroll down here, scroll over to the right, and I want to get a stock quote, or maybe, better yet, how about if I just get the daily uh, stocks here for the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P. Click on that little yellow indicator. It turns into a green box with a check mark. Click on Import, and it says where do you want to import it. We'll put it in that cell there, click OK, give it a second or two, scroll over, and there it is. Now if I need to make updates to it or want to get the latest change in the stocks, you want to click anywhere within this worksheet and click on the Refresh button. And of course give it a second or two why it updates the data and refreshes it. So now I've got a couple of worksheets that I can go ahead and refresh and hopefully get the latest information. When it comes to stocks, one thing is, is that you want to be careful because the internet can delay your stocks by 20 minutes or more, so don't buy or sell based upon what you see here necessarily. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.